Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jajit Kumar. In this video, I will create a golden images in Azure. So this is the official document and I will go to the Azure portal and proceed further for that creation. So this is my resource group. I have created a VM and these are the all the items which has deployed with that VM only. And I, this is the public IP. So I will go to that VM. So as you can see here, uh, the operating system is Windows 11, which is uh, basically Windows client. So I will go ahead with this public IP and uh, we'll log into the server first and uh, proceed further for generalize image. Basically, we will create a generalized image for this VM. I will go to this command prompt. So this is the command prompt. Uh, and after that, I will go to this directory. Oh, sorry. C, Windows. And after that, system 32. Okay. Once I will go to there, we, we will We will go further for sales brief, okay, and DIR to list all the items available. So this is the one exe file we will run. So just type sysprep.exe and uh, I will choose this one as a generalize and here I will choose as a shutdown after that click ok so what will be happen it will be automatically log you off from this server or from the client till this process got completed this till this uh, generalized image got created so we'll have to wait for a couple of minutes to complete this process as you can see here my session got ended my remote session so I will click on that one. So I'm out from the server, that Windows client. So I will ref refresh here. And we'll go to the resource group and check there. Okay. So once it got completed, you will automatically out from this and that uh, Windows client uh, from the operating system automatically. So I, and after that, you can see here the windows that the uh, VM got stopped state. It will be automatically stopped. Uh, if it is not, you will have to wait for a couple of minutes to get it stopped. So as you can see here, it got stopped. So as a next step, I will go here in the overview, in the capture. I will click on the capture. To create a image of this one so as you can see here the subscription by, by default got uh, selected and the resource group i'll have to choose that one the region uh what about the region on which uh, the previous vm was there it got created it will be created on the, the same region only so we don't get any option to change the, the region i will go second step so uh, if you want to uh, share this image as a gallery in the gallery uh, in Azure portal, you can use this one or the second one. So in my case, I am getting the first one only. So I, am, I have selected the yes. And uh, here is the option to automatically delete this VM after creation of this image. So like once we create this image, once this image got created, automatically that VM on which we have run that syscript, it will got deleted. So I use that one since I do not uh, want longer to that VM. And here I'll have, here is the gallery details we need to provide, means uh, where that Azure Compute Gallery means that images will be created. So in my case, I don't have the gallery created before. So I'll 
click on the create and here i will use the gallery image as a name click ok and here is the first option i will use since we are we have generalized our vm and here is the uh, version definition so we need to provide the gen gen 11 vm i'm keeping as a name and all the option the whatever the option we are getting it got selected by default we don't uh, we will not get it, any option to do the changes other than this offer and the publisher and here is the publishing option we can ignore at this moment i'm clicking on the ok and after that here uh, basically we need to provide some of that uh, version like as you can see here as an example 0 .0 .1, uh, 0.0.1 something like that so i'm keeping name as means 1.0.0 okay and the sec second uh, second option is uh, exclude from the latest so if if this is the red flag means if this flag is set to yes vm created using the latest flag will be omit this version okay so better we can uncheck this one and this is the eol end of life date so if you want to delete this version uh, after a specific time or date you can select that one in my case i'm not using that one and this is the mandatory thing we can log this uh check this one if you're not checking by unchecking this box the ability of deleting images in replicated reason is unlocked so i'm checking that one and once i go to the below here i will use this standard lrs hdg uh, this, since this is a for the demo perspective and here is the one of the replica got created if you want to increase that one you can click here to work increase here in my case i am using the one only and the target region or uh, you can select as per your convenient and the replica which you want and this sq type of data stories now i will go ahead and click on create so since we don't have any tagging in our environment click on the create and wait for a couple of minutes to this image to be created so apparently this uh, once this image got created uh, whatever the uh, option we chose to delete this vm okay and it will be start deleting once it this image got created so we'll have to wait for a minute i will go so finally our uh, this uh, image creation got initiated we'll have to wait for a couple of minutes to complete this image creation and parallelly it will delete the existing vm i will go this image got created here in the deployment section and it got uploaded to the compute gallery and as i mentioned that parallelly it was it will be create or delete that vm on which we have run that sysprep so as you can see here it is deleting that vm now it got deleted so i will go to that resource group and check what are the resources got deployed so here you can see uh whatever uh this is the nick and this is the nsg only only pending and all item got deleted automatically and uh, okay i will go to that azure compute gallery and this is the v vm image definition you can see here okay and uh, if i go to this image and you can find here the latest version and from here you can create a vm another vm if you want